This YouTube video was presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. It's the coast, the cruise. Who are you and what is this? Uh, no, 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 I get to do the introduction because oh. he's more my friend than he is your no, friend. No, he's not right? more than your friend. He's my friend. He calls oh, me when he comes my. to town. No, no, That's no, no, no. he explained the issue. He explained the issue. He said that he emailed me every time he came to town. He just had the wrong email address. Therefore, I didn't get him. That is completely impossible. No, Adam, Adam, tell Adam, him that it's true. Adam, take your cell phone. You know Adam, you can't email him. Adam, let me see the cell phone. Let me see the cell phone. Where's the cell phone? Hold on, this, this, is a good, this is a good thing. This is the show listeners basically why, are you why I never spoke on the show. <laughs> because this happened. So, you know. He's trying to divulge that he has a flip phone. Yeah, you don't, you, you're not going to show us the phone? No. No? no? It's, it's, too, it's too much of an antique. Wow, you got to okay. be real careful. All right, all right. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we fly. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is Adam House, obviously the yes. uh, old co-host of In the Loop. He is also a uh, intern over at Great Coasters. Intern, Internet. yeah. Uh, intern? Uh, no, Drew's intern? an intern. He's oh. an engineer. Yeah. Oh, an intern, intern and engineer. They both point. start with the same. No, not no, even. You, can't <laughs> you can tell the can't spell in real life. That's it. I was an intern at one point. Yes. yes. Yeah. He worked his way up for from the interns all the way up to. Uh, Design engineer. engineer. Do, design engineer. And so now Adam left the show about a year ago. And what have you done with the last year of your life? There it is. Design engineer. Wait a minute. Is this it right here? Yes. That's it. Yeah, that's First it. it's that, yeah, and yeah. then it's this. Yeah, then it's they didn't this. even they didn't even catch it because he wasn't videotaping <laughs> us anymore. All right. What are we looking at here, buddy? <laughs> Wait. Is this a new train? I want to sit in it. <laughs> and here's our idiot. We, we were getting to that, but evidently yeah. not fast enough. <laughs> you got to lock both of them if you want to really keep the trap. Now, these seats are actually locked on him right now. So he, he, is, he is actually I am so glad that he decided to get in there. Long time. And the cool thing is we can just keep going on with this interview. Before, we had like Absolutely. a time frame. Yeah. Now with Drew here, we can just go the rest of the day. <laughs> Why did GCI sell no roller coasters on Thursday? We had the idiot stuck in the train <laughs> the entire time. Exactly. No, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. But basically what you guys are looking at right here is called a mini Millennium Flyer. I see what um, you did there. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a play on words. That's, that's Jeff's big play on words right there. But basically what you're looking at here is, is a, a train that we can do two things with. We can retrofit old rides that have the PTC Junior trains on them. And we can also come up with uh, new rides for our customers. And they can basically have you know, tighter radiuses, tighter pullouts, and things like that, because this is a smaller track gauge. So basically, the, the width of the, the guide steel is, is narrower on these. Um, our first iteration of these are actually down at Legoland, and they open today, so you guys Whoa. have the exclusive, other wait. than Legoland sending it. <laughs> uh, the second Legoland so wait a minute, you guys Twitter. have already put the tra how long did that take? Um, I was down there about a week and a half, two yeah. weeks ago, and did that. And it took about a week to put the trains on. But these and been, nobody in the industry caught on to no that one, you were down there. No you just, I knew they were doing it. I just couldn't talk about it. <laughs> Wait a minute! You didn't email me and tell me. I'm just—I might have been the wrong email address. I had. <laughs> <laughs> you can't email on the phone. Exactly. It might have been the wrong email address. But basically, like I said, these, these just started to run today at Legoland. Um, they've been on for about a week, and they were doing some testing and things internally with their guys. But I think they're really happy with the product. The good thing is we really tried to do is make these be able to see two people comfortably. And if you have never been on Coaster Source before with the old trains, it is absolutely impossible to fit two adults in the same seat. Yeah, it's impossible, not in the same impossible seat. to fit one person. Uh, yeah. Even yeah. I rode and I had to sit like this. Yeah. Right. And just do a zoom in real quick here. Look how comfortably Drew sits in here. Drew's not a giant by any means at all. But um, but he's certainly not uh, a little guy either. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see how much room he's got. He's got room for two people. We've actually removed the seat divider. So what we do is the one lap bar actually acts as the seat divider if you're riding by yourself. So if you try to slide out the other side there, Drew, you no, see how that goes? That's not going It goes anywhere. nowhere. So that's really cool. That was, there, was a, there was a lot of different things. And the funny thing is when you look at it, you think, oh, this is a Millennium Flyer. But realistically, when you actually look at the mechanics of how everything works, the seats that you're sitting in, there's a lot of things that we had to change. There was a lot of time that we dedicated to this ride itself. So. Now the other thing I have to ask you about at the booth is this uh, the switchback reversing coaster, oh, which yeah. seems to be another new product for you guys. So this is our idea that we came up with to kind of compete with some different ideas that other places have had. It's something new and innovative that we've done. Is it's actually a drop track. So what you would do is you would roll onto it, and it's actually mechanically drawn where it actually drops. So there's switches involved and things like that, and there's sensors that tell you where everything's at. But basically, it's almost like a free fall slide is the way it's going to work. Huh. So it, it's it's something to give more options. And as you guys have looked around the booth here, you see yeah. many of the different options, and we can basically tailor rides for customers that are 
right off the shelf. We can give them that ride. You know, we can give them this ride, which is our, our ride that we showed you guys last yeah. year. We, we can do any of that stuff right off the shelf, or we can basically come in and, and do any custom layout you want. So really, we like to offer customers as much options as, as we can do. And that's the whole reason that we have this, is really to say, hey, if you can't afford the Millennium Flyer, if you can't do a big ride, we can make your ride smaller, make it tighter, and actually give you these cost-effective trains that still fit two people comfortably. And also, so. there's a lot of parts that market to smaller children. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Exactly, and that was the biggest thing. Is, is, I mean, the ultimate goal for these trains was to make rides safe for kids to sit in, because um, bus bar systems sometimes, yeah. you know, are a little shady. But this, I mean, we spent a lot of time on a custom lap bar for this thing to basically make it so that you can't get out and you know Drew can Drew can attest to that that you can't get Trying out of there. Drew. Well, see, here's here's the thing. What <laughs> oh, you should great. really do is <laughs> pop these lap bars up, and we'll have the legend sit here and prove that two people can sit in there. I think when this interview is done, we're all just going to walk away. So yeah. you're, you're in trouble already. In dude. fact, I think this interview is done. Let's oh. all walk away. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't leave with that. I mean, you guys have uh, White Lightning now down yeah, just we, down the road. Yeah, we do. We do see. That's hey, hey, I, know. Ride it I haven't oh, been on it yesterday. Was there some sort of event yesterday we made that, missed out We missed it. Okay. Yeah. You must I mean, have emailed me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what you guys are talking about. But White Lightning, we're really happy with. Um, you know, a lot of customers have come to us and said this. It's an amazing looking ride. You got the white structure. It looks really incredible. Um, it, it's fast. The thing is really sped up from the original days it was running. So we're really happy with it. You know, it's a great ride to have right here in Orlando. The customer walks up to the booth. I like this ride. What's your ride like? You don't have to say, well, you should go ride our ride sometime. It's like, hey, come get in the car. Let's go ride it. So <laughs> Damn it works straight. Out great, I know? love it. So I love it. we've really we've really expanded and we'd really like to thank John Ari a lot for that and he's done a great job with being with us and helping with I've that, been on so. plenty of times one of the uh, smoothest ride I think you guys have ever done in my opinion. Good, thank you. All right, Adam House, thank you very much. Thank you guys. Hey, you need a new intern because we're gonna leave you ours. Well I don't want him. That's probably the only reason I'll let him go is because I don't want to hang out with him either. So <laughs> nobody does. <Jeez. laughs> <All right. laughs>